is there a, an element of security in having people like Gail work with you? I think, well, Gail was the only one, really, that I was rather insistent about. I didn't want to do it without him. Uh, Vivian had, would still be with us. It would be Vivian and Gail, you know? But uh, I wouldn't want to have even started without Gail. You mentioned Vivian. Yeah. Would you ever consider doing a, uh, another show with, because I'm assuming that, this, that Lucy is going to go on forever. That's what we're all assuming and hoping. Would you ever consider doing another show with a woman? No, sir. Well, she was the best. No, I can think of working with Gail. But not, uh, not the other way around. I, mean, I, just, I just can't imagine it. When you hear Lucy talk about Vivian and the times they share, when she talks about Gail, you know that she's talking about friendship. In the foreword to a book called Loving Lucy, Gail Gordon wrote the words that say it best. Mainly, dear heart, my thanks for letting me participate in a very small way in concocting the world's most needed tonic, laughter, the miracle drug. It's good for what ails you. It has no injurious after effects and it is well nigh impossible to take an overdose. The world loves you, dear physician. You have soothed our aches and pains, you have lightened our burdens, and made our lives a little brighter. And you have given television an added dimension by using it as a vehicle for making house calls. Bless you.